welcome back to our channel guys if you're new here we're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie and you join us on our round the world tour in Camper Van Kev. This week we have one of our best weeks yet driving the coastal road from Amasra to Sinop. We witness a mother and baby dolphin feeding on a shoal of fish. Laura gets some dance lessons from some local Turkish ladies and we also save some puppies lives. All this plus the usual great park ups and tasty food. We hope you enjoy it. So we're at our first park up from that Amazra to Sinop coastal road. This is such a good find. It's absolutely amazing here. The waters are lovely and turquoise. It's a little bit rocky, but at least you don't get all the sand stuck to your feet. So it's a win-win really. I think we've only drove about an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, probably 45 minutes from Amazra. And um, we're at um, just before our first stop, like the proper stop um, of sightseeing. Um, before so we're going to chill out here for a couple of days before hitting the road properly and showing you everything that we see along the route. Not only is this the perfect park up um, which we will show you but um, we were greeted first thing by a mummy and a baby dolphin um, splashing around in the water and it was just brilliant wasn't it? They were chasing the shoal of fish and eating the fish so we sent the drone out um, and you'll see, well you can clearly see, there's a big dolphin and a little dolphin and they're chasing the shoal around. Just amazing to see. You couldn't ask for more. So this has got to be one of our top park ups already in Turkey, isn't it? Without a doubt, this one is by far my favourite. <laughs> it's even, it's Saturday today and even though it's a Saturday, which normally is a really busy day for Turkish families to go out and do picnics and go to the beach, it's actually surprisingly quiet here. There's a few families, there's a family over there setting up camp um, so I think they're staying here for the weekend but yes yeah, like Laura said normally the beaches are really really busy on the weekend but this one is lovely perfect. and not only that we're parked at the top where um, there's plenty of shade under the trees as well so it's really good. We're going to have a nice barbecue later, a beach day tomorrow and then we'll be hitting the road Monday. <laughs> Look ahead, the sea is calm And I know we've been through a lot But just wait mm, Wait for better days to come And carry us like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us if we just making their way across these little rocks here. Help me to keep Lulu entertained <laughs> with her big stick while they go over there <laughs> and dive off the rocks over there. So how's this for a perfect barbecue setting? We've got the burgers and the chicken wings on the go. Out overlooking the Black Sea. So this morning we have left Richie and we are off on our first little hike together in Turkey, aren't we boys? Yeah. yeah. Um, we are going to a supermarket, which is 20 minutes away. And I am seriously debating what I am doing here right now in this heat. <laughs> we just climbed a really big hill and seriously wondered why, why we thought we'd do this today. Um, but we need some supplies and we can't be bothered to move Kev out of his really nice park up that he's in. So we're hoping to stay there for another couple of days if we can get to this supermarket. It's not too that bad, is it, babes? 
Yeah, only the part when it's only 46 degrees, yeah. <laughs> it's not 46, it's about 27. <laughs> not all bad when you walk past these sorts of scenic places. Look at that for a view. So we made it. Um, it was actually quicker than we thought it was going to be. Turkish doesn't seem to come up um, when you type in all, uh, grocery stores on Google. There's always something along the road before what you actually think it's going to be. So I think it was only about 15 minutes roughly. Was it worth it boys coming? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've got their rice cream, so they're happy. But we forgot that we'd actually run out of gigabytes for the boys. So we have now come down to a Turk sale shop. It's just topped it up. Um, 75 gigabytes for 135 lira, which is about six pounds. So really good data deals out here. We're so hot, we've decided to quit, jump in a cab. Easiest way to travel around here, much easier. Since we've been at this park up today, we've been offered watermelon, chai, barbecue food, everything. It's got very busy up here today, um, but everyone's so friendly once again, so generous. Um, so we're going to return the favour now. We've got some watermelon and we're going to dish it round to everyone. Hopefully they want some. So the watermelon went down a treat. I think a few people had some and we've just been offered another chai in return. This makes me laugh how, how friendly everyone is and we're still very much in contact with Tukba. Um, we're even having FaceTimes with her daily um, and it's getting easier and easier because we're using Translate and I'm speaking Turkish to her over, over WhatsApp. And she's trying to learn English and speak in English to me over the phone. So it's just brilliant. So now we've just had some nuts brought over. We weren't sure how to eat them. I've never seen these before. Um, and I just opened it, put the whole thing in my <coughs> mouth. They're like, no, no, you need to take the shell off, spit it out. So I spat it out and then they sh showed me how to actually eat them. So this is how it's done. Well, I choose them. <laughs> it's a secular. And this is the finished result. This is how it should have been. Mmm, good. So I've just found out from Google that this is actually a hazelnut. <laughs> uh, but we, why would we know such a thing? Because when you buy them in Tesco's, you'd just buy them in a shell, wouldn't you? You wouldn't buy them like this. So this is the best way to learn things by traveling because we'd never have known this otherwise does it get much better than this laura's been invited to dance with all of the lovely turkish ladies they're all over there they're strutting their stuff this is only a nature park up in the middle of nowhere but this just shows how lovely everyone is we love turkey Mahaba. <laughs> I just can't believe this. Check this out. All you can do is smile. It makes you so happy. They are so friendly. There's no language barrier in Turkey. Everyone is brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Laura, give it some. <laughs> when we left home, if you had a said we'd be dancing at a nature park with a lot of random Turkish people that we've never met before, I would never have believed it. But look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we haven't done much dancing since we've been in Turkey. So being able to strut our stuff has been brilliant, especially with the Turkish people. Unbelievable. Look at this, this is brilliant. Having a little dance. And the children are all playing. Everyone loves Hopsy. They're all amazed by Hopsy. I'm hoping there's going to be more like that along this coastal route, but uh, we've heard how scenic it is the whole way along, so I'm sure there's going to be. It's absolutely amazing, this, this is drive, like there's just so much to see. Um, we just quickly did a little pit stop on to the next town um, from the car, from the car cut, um, which was just a tiny little village, wasn't it? And uh, very scenic. Again. Just had to get some more data. You, you have to top it up in the shops here, so that's what we've done. And now we are off to side, I think it's called. Yeah, side or side. Yeah, spell C I D E, so I'm not too sure. It. But um, um, I think if there's any scenic spots on route, um, which I think there is, like viewpoints, we're going to stop off and show you those. Yeah. And we'll see what this next little town's like. Just everywhere you look. It's just brilliant. <laughs> so picturesque. Every corner you turn, it's like, oh, should we film it? Should we film it? But every corner's just as beautiful <laughs> as the next. Yeah, it is really nice. Um, hairpins galore. Green um, forest, foresty looking mountains and stuff. Just, just lovely. And the turquoise water um, on our left. mountains in the background there and it's just like a little harbour um, this spot is actually on park for night there is a lot and lot of space um, but all the restaurants there's only one little restaurant which is behind me that's on a boat um, but because we've already done that last week we thought we might just pop into the touristy part that we just came through um, there was a little there was quite a lot of parking on the street down there so we're going to go and see if we can find something to eat so we're around the other side of the harbour now. You can see Kev Park right there. Um, there's a few shops and bits and pieces. So we're going to see what they're like and see what more lovely Turkish people we're going to meet today. <laughs> garlic stalls along here. I don't know if this area of Turkey is known for producing garlic. It smells lovely though. It does smell really nice. And there's also a lot of your normal touristy shops or clothes shops selling a lot of the lovely items. There's also loads of inflatables. But I suppose you get that from all beach towns. So as always, the boys spotted this little park area when we drove past. They've just sprinted ahead just so they can have a quick go. It's a lovely little place. So this is a good little idea. There's so many strays in Turkey and you just can't take them all with you. We'd love to, uh, but we've got a full van as it is. But things like this, you pay two lira um, and it gives the dog some food. Lütfen, bir tane daha atınız. Cidemi ne süperti? Tek sporu atarsın. Ne olsun, çok kutu 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 kut
That's a disappointment. He's going to go hungry. Hardly anything. Well, I didn't get a lot out of that. Every little helps though. We did put another two lira in. So we've just walked down the beach a little further. There's a little park there that the boys were in earlier. So they've gone off to play. And me and Richie are just waiting for the food to come out. I think we're having Donna kebabs. Um, and Frankie's gone for a chicken skewer. And Fussy Fred's got chicken nuggets. Makes a change. Um, so hopefully it's going to turn out nice. The Donna kebabs come different to what we have back at home. Normally you have it in like a pizza bread. But out here we find that they just stick it in crusty roll. It's quite nice, it does look really nice. Put some uh, pickles and onion tomatoes and then the donna meat. We did order for a chicken nuggets but they must have gave them a chicken, chicken wrap. Either way it looks really good, I've also gone for that. Mm. And then Frankie's looks even better again. Look at those grilled vegetables and that, lovely. So that was a really nice dinner. Um, come to 200 lira, which works out about 10 pounds. So really reasonable. Um, yeah, it's just a quaint little town. So if anyone wants to visit along this coastal road, it's definitely worth a little pit stop too. We can't walk past all this garlic without getting some for the van. I've never seen so much garlic. It's definitely got to be the best road for road tripping around Turkey. This is just epic. We're a bit low on water after our showers this morning, but the good thing about Turkey is they have these water filling points everywhere. So you never have to worry about finding water to fill up with. We've decided to stop off at this one, have a quick fill up and carry back on. This one here hasn't got a hose attachment and not many of them do actually have a hose attachment. So one bit of advice, if you do take your van to Turkey, bring a bucket and a funnel because it will come in well handy. Well, we've arrived at park up number two. Check this one out. Almost as good as the last one we've had. Really nice. Seems completely empty as well. This is the first beach we've been on in Turkey with not one person. It is a small one, so that might explain it, but lovely. There's some caves over there, a little split through that way. And on one of the comments on park for night, it said that someone's actually spotted a bear here before. So that'd be interesting. The boys are excited to go on a bear hunt. yesterday it was lovely it was fairly calm the sun was out today though we've woke up and it's like a different park up altogether check out the size of some of these waves we're not going to stay here too long today we're going to um, I've got a little bit of editing to do so we're going to get that wrapped up and we're going to hit the road again and show you some more Find something. We 
we're just going to go a quick brief look just to show you what's what along the route and then yeah we should end up in Sinop I think there's two places we're going to stop off at so hopefully there's a little bit to do and show you but we shall see if not I'm sure there's a chai that we can drink <laughs> there's always a chai <laughs> life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i we just had to pull over quick to show you this viewpoint we're not stopping at everyone because there's absolutely loads the whole way along this coastal road they're literally dotted everywhere but look at this it's just so beautiful you can't get much better than this and this is the whole way along the route like this is just everything you see on your left is all this See, look at it. It's just, it's just constant great views, it really is. <laughs> um, and you could, if you wanted, you can even sleep in these little viewpoints. We have them because we like to be off the road a little bit, but if you wanted to, you can. And there's plenty of park ups, and um, we find a lot of ours on park for night, but you can even just look on Google Earth and zoom in and see where, where there looks like a place that you can sleep. But there, there is so many along this coastal road. Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs We just had to stop and show you the dangers of driving these mountain roads as well Look at this here There's obviously a landslide at some point And it must have come down blocking the road It's taken the barrier out a little bit Another fascinating thing to show you so one thing we have noticed about being in Turkey is that they have a lot of their flags dotted around places, whether it be in their villages or on their houses or in the main towns. Um, they seem very patriotic about their country and proud to be Turkish. Um, the only other country that we've found that is like that is Albania. We also find that these types of people, they, they love to tell you about their country then um, and they're proud to talk about their country so they get, we get more recommendations in places like this um, so we see a lot more and we can show you a lot more You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down over there's little puppies that running around in the road so I think they're actually somebody's but have a little look. Oh they're just adorable. I wish we could take them but we've just not got enough room in the van. It's a job to know what to do um even though there's loads of strays in Turkey, they're normally in like picnic areas and not just stranded in the middle of the road. We've just uh, walked up, but someone said that I think their home's up there. So we've just walked up to a little wooded area. We started to hear some more dogs crying. We get down here, there's another two healthy ones in the bush, but there's one laying down here, which is in a right bad way right bad ways um so we've spoke to our turkish friends tukba um we did originally ring the vet but there's a language barrier so it's quite hard to let them know exactly what we're trying to say so our friends tukba that was with the other day they are now ringing the vets to see if we can take them there even if we could just take this ill one it would be a help because this one can't be left it's dying a horrible death at the minute I would show you, but it's really not nice to see, so I'm going to leave it out. I know, I know. Come on, let's get it to the vet. And these little puppies are following us. 
um, and we're about to go back onto the road and they're just gonna walk back out onto the road again so we've got to take them to the vets we've, there's no choice we've got them in the van the boys have got the small ones they each in the back and Laura's got the injured one if they say bring them back then the two smaller ones we'd have to bring back but the one that Laura's holding that can't that stand. can't come back because it is gonna die no question about it so let's hit the road and get this sorted I think this is the first time that slept seems so tired bless him And just to top it off as well, the brake pads on the van have just started grinding a bit. So we need to get Kev in the garage, sharpish, and get these brake pads done. Yes, it's all go, go, go. It's not what we were thinking we were yeah. going to be doing this morning, is it, Rich? No. <laughs> oh, so if the day couldn't get any worse, um, the, the brakes have gone even worse now. Um, they're really grinding, so it's just not safe for us to keep driving. Um, so we've managed to pull over, someone's taking us to their garage now. Um, the puppies, two puppies in the back are doing absolutely fine. This one's just had some water and a bit to eat. Um, so he's okay for the time being. Um, he's, the people that are taking us to the garage are also going to find us a, a vet in their um, little town. <laughs> he seems a little bit better. <laughs> Um, and it's in Turkey, so we get to see there. Um, oh bless him, he's poked up slightly, so hopefully we can get him to a vet in time. Bless him. It's funny someone else driving here, yeah. apart from us. So this is the name of the garage, Select Automotive. They seem to be really taking care of us so far. And we're also going to take the little pup to the vets now in the car, I hope. He's now taking me because Richie's staying with the others <laughs> to the vet just to get this little one to the vet. And we can sort the other two pups out at a later stage if need be. But this one desperately needs to go to the vet. Poor little thing. They're not hanging about straight in and straight to work. Perfect. Well, we found the parts. Um, 300 Turkish lira a piece, so not too bad at all. Cheaper than being back at home. I don't know how much it'll be to fit, but I'm sure it's not going to be too much. So we're in the vets, hopefully they can do something. We just explained that we found him on the side of the road. Just um, using Translate now to find out what they want me to do with the other two pups, because obviously this one's injured, this one's got to uh, stay here. Um, and we're not sure what to do with the other two, not sure if they'll take them in actually working on the other one now so it looks like it's going to be safe which i'm so pleased about i think they're doing something to it i'm shaving it a bit so it's gonna clean it all up and uh, see what they can do with it but i'm just pleased that we got it here in time so confusing on here i don't i think half the time the translator doesn't actually quite understand what we're talking about um so they're working on the little pup now um and then it's going to a dog rescue just up in the next village apparently um I'm not sure if that includes our two little pups um, and if it just includes this one that's not well or not. So we shall see. Everyone is just so friendly. Everyone's asking about the YouTube channel, uh, what we're doing here as well. I don't think they see many tourists in this part of Turkey, so it's nice to converse with them. One of the workers here, he speaks a little English, so it makes things a bit easier. But apart from that, it's the usual Google Translate, but they're very kind and they're very helpful. For the quick yeah. repair, and he's about minus his bottom end, but at least he's better and he's fixed up. <laughs> Bless him. No, that's. I think we've worked out what we're doing. I've got to give the man here uh, 300 lira for him to give back to the vets um, for his for the puppy's treatment. Um, but at least he's now in safe hands he's all fixed up and he's going to be on the mend and go to a shelter where he can find a new home hopefully the other two however are still back in the van because they told me to just bring the sick one um the boys have got the two little ones so i don't know what we're doing with those yet hopefully we can bring them back um shortly um whilst richie is still waiting for the brake pads to be done so 
all in all, we are getting things sorted. And he's done. Oh, very happy about this. Literally, we've been here about half an hour, I reckon. Even the, well, you can tell he's a dog lover because he's got his own little uh, Zeus German Shepherd like Lulu, so you can imagine he's obviously a dog friendly person. And we don't see many German Shepherds in Turkey, so it's really good to see. Yeah, and he took me straight in there. He didn't. We didn't leave that vet until we knew that that little puppy was fine. So I'm now really relieved that we can go away knowing that that one's fine. On the other hand, we don't know what we're stuck on the other side. But for the time being, the boys are quite happy and we'll see what, um, see if we can find a dog rescue centre for them because I don't think they really wanted to take on all three of them. So this here is for Khan and this is Murat. Very nice guys, they've really helped us out. <laughs> Fulhan took us to the vets and Murat's had been helping us in the garage. So top guys, definitely recommend this garage. They've really helped us out today. They've had a lovely afternoon playing outside um, and then they've been sleeping quite a lot. They've got full tummies and I feel like this is the, probably the first time that they've been able to really relax and go to sleep because they haven't, look at them, they're just so cute, bless them. But Hopsy now looks like a ginormous rabbit compared to these two. I think he's put on a bit of weight. Bless him. Big compared to them. What do you think, Pops? After yesterday's eventful day, uh, we decided to cut filming short. Everything just got on top of us a little bit yesterday, didn't it? We we just wanted to regroup and to Get our just... heads around it. It was quite <laughs> surreal, to be honest. We're going to leave this vlog here for this week. Yeah, and join us next week as we head into Sinop. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully we can get these little pups into somewhere, into a rescue centre. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Until then, we're going to give them lots of cuddles and enjoy our time with them. It's not going to be an easy goodbye, but we've briefed the boys that we just can't do it. If we could do it, we would keep them. But when you've got a big dog and a rabbit in a small van already with four people, it's just not doable. So as much as we'd love to, we're going to find them perfect little homes. And until then, we're going to look after them. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.